All the tilts are registering nicely today. Welcome along to the vlog ladies and gentlemen today is just going to be a quick update because I've actually done most of the work and I'm about to head home and the reason is because I wanted this kit back in before the weekend as I will be going to Sheffield Beer Week at Kellam Island on Saturday and uh, I want to make sure that I don't have any jobs niggling at my brain and then when we come back we'll be doing some yeast harvesting we'll be addressing the plum porters again and we'll be brewing at some point next week so let's have a recap as to what we've done so first things first all the kit is back in position and you'll see over here for the plum porter uh, the tanks were turned off for a couple of days so the temperature dropped but this is coming back up to temp now it's almost finished anyway there's just two or three points for it left to go and then we'll be adding flavoring that's the one that is darker uh, I've added a board down here as you can see which contains a, a waste pipe and a tap that's on the mains so the idea is that that waste pipe runs along the back wall down there all the way to the soak away over here and the idea is on a brew day instead of having the hot water that we don't save running down our newly painted floor instead we just bung a pipe into that upright and it soaks away near bother lake now uh, I also want to address this section so we've got this table in here which is great but now I put that waste and uh, mains pipe in I'm thinking well if I kind of just extend that across to there slightly that would mean I could utilize this stainless steel sink and the good thing about this is we could sit a fermenter on each of the draining boards and have the sink in the middle what a brilliant idea I know I'm full of them so I'll have to measure it up to see if it fits if it does that could completely change our little pilot kit area into basically a self-contained brewery area which essentially would be did I say essentially twice I think so essentially would be like a 8b8 shed an eight foot by eight foot shed that's just one idea we'll see how we go on with that so yes i've installed that uh drain pipe there and i've also teed off where we had a connection and a tap there for the condenser flue that supplied water to the sprayers via a hose pipe so i've hard plumbed this this time uh, it's got a push fit connector here as well so we can disconnect and pull away if necessary or I can just drop that off whatever but all of these taps are isolated up there on the wall with that little ISO valve just there and uh, the T comes across under the boil kettle and into the plate chiller so now instead of having to unhook my hose pipe use this adapter and plug the hose pipe into the plate chiller when I'm cooling meaning I can't use my hose pipe I've managed to get that wired into the mains and then on the output side we've taken a pipe we've looped it up to the input of the HLT as you can see I've saved some of the bent pipe that I made a mess of the other week while we were experimenting with the sparge arm on the pilot kit well that copper's got a new life it's in this little manifold now so within this manifold we have open that and you fill the HLT with hot water from the plate chiller and once the HLT is full if you've got overspill you can open that and connect a hose pipe and collect the water in buckets for cleaning or indeed let it go down the drain 
that's another option so now we have an ISO valve here for downstream that feeds the plate chiller the pilot kit the condenser and then this section here fills the HLT with cold water if we need to and this here isolates the whole uh, brewery water system this isolates the hose pipe and then this here isolates the double sink and the hot water system wouldn't you say that's fantastic we do have another modification we've got to put this water meter in line and that's going to go up here I think or I might even put it on here so we can say sparge or strike in with x litres of water I'll probably put it on the hot side come to think of it so that's all the jobs that we've done in here the floor is pretty well cured so next week or the week after when these tanks are empty anyway we'll be moving these across to this side and we'll be painting the other side of the brewery fantastic another job out of the way and then while I've been doing that Gemma's been in the workshop taking down the stand that housed the bandsaw and the chop saw and this is where it lived if you like this is where it resided for the past two years and basically it wasn't the best utilization of this space there you can see that pipe is the drain for the cold rooms so what I'm thinking about doing is utilizing this section here for my drill press and my bandsaw and then having a section across here where we just have shelving and maybe we put the chop saw back here and fail that then I think we're going to rotate or move this table and have the chop saw on that maybe even that would look good over there I'll see I want to maximize the space up at the top and then at some point maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but at some point we'll rejig our dust collection system which quite frankly kind of works but isn't great need to tidy these wires up these pipes here send glycol out to the heat dump for the remote chiller which cools the cold room so we'll turn that light off and that's it folks so there we go we've got an eight minute vlog out of that an eight minute vlog ain't bad we've got a recap done and of course now you're all caught up tomorrow I'll be in maybe we'll get a bit of vloggage and then like I say Sheffield on Saturday Sheffield Beer Week Festival at Kellam Island Museum I'm looking forward to it and uh, it will be the third one in two weeks that's good going isn't it anyway cheers for watching and I'll see you on the next one